In this video, we are going to learn about the galvanic cells and the voltaic cells. Basically, it is a two half reactions that take place in two separate containers. The electrons that are released by the oxidation reaction in one of the containers, specifically we call that container an anode container, which consists of a metal that's producing electron. And the electron passes through a wire, okay, here you have a wire that passes through a wire to another container where the electron are consumed in the reduction reaction. In this container is another container that is separate from the anode container, we call this the cathode container. So in the cathode, we have reduction. In the anode, we have the oxidation, which oxidation is releasing electron, reduction is gaining electron. So here I have two containers. We have an anode, which is a metal made of zinc. Because zinc is releasing electron, we have the oxidation. So anode is for oxidation. If you notice, the electron is released by zinc. So that electron will travel through the wire and carry down and gonna be attracted by the cathode, which is made of copper. So here we have the reduction half reaction, which copper gained two electrons to become copper solid. So eventually you will have more copper being added here to this metal cathode. And between it, you have the salt bridge. Now, how does that relate to your practice problem? In this case, your practice problem will give you an oxidation half reaction and a reduction half reaction. Your job is to interpret into a voltaic cells diagram. What does it mean? The diagram has specific structure. First of all, the oxidation and the reduction are organized in the flow of the direction of the electron. So basically, you start with oxidation and we end with reduction. Because oxidation is where you produce electron, where, ox where reduction is where you gain the electron. So we follow the direction of electron. So let's look for our oxidation, which is described by this half reaction. Within the oxidation, we have this vertical line that separates the changes in state. That is, if we look at oxidation, this is a solid. And this right here is and aqueous, okay? So we have a solid, then we have a vertical line, and we have Zn2+. plus. This Zn is solid, and this Zn is aqueous. And then we have our solid bridge, because there's nothing else to write about the oxidation. Then we go to the reduction. Here we see the reactant is Cu2+, plus, which is aqueous. So we have Cu2+. plus. Sometimes they have the concentration of the aqueous solution given to us or sometimes they don't give us this concentration at all. In this case, we have Cu2 plus using the vertical line to separate the different state of matter. This is aqueous, and this one is solid. One more thing that I want you to remember is that we always, always do not write the coefficient. That is, we ignore the coefficient. One last thing we have to remember, this is an ion, is not and oxidation, okay? So these are ions. Uh, so that way you get the format of the charges correctly. Let's try an example. Here I have my oxidation and I have my reduction. Again, we follow the flow of electron from oxidation to reduction. So I'm gonna write my oxidation first. And we ignore the coefficient, so we don't care about that part at all. So we have PB, which is just solid, separate by the vertical line, and we have your ions, which is PV2+. Then we are done with the oxidation, and we use this two vertical line to represent the salt bridge, which in this case, we have CR as in aqueous. Separated by a vertical line, we have CR solid. And that's all we have to do. Now let's try another problem. Here, hey, I have anno. What about anno? Anno is basically where the oxidation reaction process occur, where cathode is where the reduction process occur. So I can change the wording around, make it more challenging. Here you have my anode, which is oxidation. So I write it first Na, and use the vertical line to separate the state matter. And here I have Na in aqueous form. Then I have my salt bridge, but in this case, separate the oxidation from the reduction. So I have Pb, that's my solid, 
going to be separated by one vertical line, PB, Q plus. And that's all you have to do. So remember, we ignore the coefficient, and this will be our answer. If we were to write a diagram that represents the voltaic cells